Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rashmi Singh, Assistant Professor, Department of Education, SS Khanna Girls Rudy College, University of Allahabad and I welcome you all at the International Seminar on Multifaceted Perspectives of Gender Education Reaching the Unreached organized by Titus II Teachers College, Council for Teacher Education Foundation and SEAM and, and I am here to present with you a very important and relevant topic that is SDG 5 in global perspective. What is SDG? SDG is Sustainable Development Goal. So let's start. What are Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs? The United Nations General Assembly created the Sustainable Development Goals in 2015 as part of the 2030 Agenda to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all by 2030. The SDGs, also known as the Global Goals, are intended to transform the economy, society, way of life and how people consider the environment. They build on the previously attained, previously formed Millennial Development Goals or MDGs and call for action by all countries to promote prosperity while protecting our planet. The idea of sustainable development came to light first of all in 1987 with the publication of a very important paper that is Our Common Future, which formally established sustainable development as a critical component of international development. SDGs are aligned with the five SDG pillars. What are these five pillars? People, you can say it 5P. People, prosperity, planet, peace and partnership. Then these are the 17 sustainable development goals. We have to be aware about each one of all but here I am uh, we are generally specifically concerned with SDG 5 but the rest of the goals are SDG 1, no poverty, zero hunger, good health and well-being, quality education, clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, decent work and economic growth, industry, innovation and infrastructure, reduced inequalities, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production, climate action, life below water, life on land, peace, justice and strong institutions and last but not the, not the least, partnership for all the 16 goals is the 17th goal. So, we have to be concerned here only with SDG 5. What is SDG 5? It is achieve to achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls of this planet. So, uh, first of all, we have to be uh, understand, we have to be understandable with the terms gender, gender equality and empowerment. So, what is gender? As defined by Bridge, gender is the array of socially constructed roles and relationships, personality traits, attitudes, behaviors, values, relative power and influence that society ascribes to the two sexes on a differential basis. Whereas biological sex is determined by genetic and anatomical characteristics, gender is an acquired identity that is learned, changes over time and varies widely within and across cultures. Gender is relational and refers not simply to women or men but to the relationship between them. So, first of all, we have to be very clear about the term what gender is and when we talk about gender equality, we do not uh, forget about the gender, gendered roles and you can say uh, repercussions of being boys too, okay? Then what is gender equality? The concept that women and men, girls and boys have equal conditions, treatment and opportunities for realizing their full potential, human rights and dignity and for contributing to and benefiting from economic, social, cultural and political development. Gender equality is therefore the equal valuing by society of the similarities and the differences of men and women and men and women and the roles they play 
It is based on women and men being full partners in the home, community and society. Equality does not mean that women and men will become the same. It's never about it. But that women's and men's rights, responsibilities and opportunities will not depend on whether they are born male or female. Okay, and it is a matter of human rights and is considered a precondition for an indicator of sustainable people centered development of all the rest of 17 goals, 16 goals. Okay, so what is empowerment as defined by UNESCO? It is the process by which people, both women and men, take control over their lives, setting their own agendas, gaining skills. Building self-confidence, solving problems and developing self-reliance. No one can empower another. Only the individual can empower himself or herself to make choices or to speak out. However, institutions can support the processes that nurture self-empowerment of individuals or goals. So, what can be the indicators of empowerment? It will be power, access, options, positive thinking, learning, growth, self-image and morals then the uh, sdg5 has nine targets what are these targets first of all end discrimination against women and girls and all violence against and exploitation of women and girls eliminate forced marriages and gentle mutilation value unpaid care and promote shared domestic responsibilities Ensure full participation in leadership and decision making. Universal access to reproductive health and rights. And these are 5A, 5B, 5C. Equal rights to economic resources, property ownership and financial services. Promote empowerment of women through technology and adopt and strengthen policies and enforceable legislation for gender equality. So, we have to achieve these nine targets to achieve gender equality from SDG 5. So, why gender equality matters? It, it matters because gender equality is essential for the achievement of all rest of the sustainable development goals. Gender equality is essential for the promotion of social justice. It is essential for the promotion of peace and security and it is essential for overall economic growth and development of any country. Gender equality matters across all SDGs. In which manner? Unless progress on gender equality is accelerated, the global community will not only fail to achieve SDGs, it will also forego the catalytic effect that gender equality can have for the achievement of the 2030 agenda more broadly. Across countries and regions, women and girls face tremendous structural barriers that impact all aspects of their lives. Eliminating gender-specific constraints as well as other forms of discrimination with which they intersect is hence crucial. Globally, women have fewer opportunities for economic participation than men, less access to basic and higher education, greater health and safety risks and less political representation. It occurs globally, not only in India. Then, unless appropriate action is taken to advance gender equality, the promise of the 2030 agenda of a better world with universal respect for human rights and dignity and full realization of human potential will go unrealized. Gender equality and the empowerment of all women and girls is not only an explicit goal under the 2030 agenda, but also a driver of sustainable development in all its dimensions, from ending poverty and hunger, promoting prosperity and inclusive growth, and building peaceful, just and inclusive societies to securing the protection of the planet and its natural resources. The systematic mainstreaming of a gender perspective in the implementation and monitoring of the sustainable development goals is therefore crucial. Means we cannot achieve our sustainable development goals unless and until we achieve gender equality. So how can we conclude? We can conclude that guaranteeing the rights of women and giving them opportunities to reach their full potential is critical 
not for attaining gender equity but also for meeting a wide range of international development goals empowerment empowered women and girls contribute to the health and productivity of their families communities and countries creating a ripple effect that benefits everyone what are the benefits of gender equality we can it can improve economic performance of a nation it can improve health and well-being of all the individuals it can improve work life balance of the of its citizens it in, it can improve social development it can advance social development it can upgrade social development of that very nation it can improve education in general and it can improve or enhance the political participation of less representative gender that is female gender in political force so these are only few there are innumerable benefits of gender equality in any country or nation and hence it is a globally relevant matter and has to be sought out so thank you all and uh, enjoy the uniqueness of your gender thank you once again